I think one of the, the secondary benefits of this is the fact that we can now build significantly tighter buildings. Because, you know, I think again, back to when I started off as a designer in this business you know, 25 years ago, one of the things that every building had was a floor by floor air handling unit system with huge holes in the side of the building. And, and that was where we were bringing in and air in and out of them. And if you went into those buildings back in the day and stood at the top of an air shaft or an elevator shaft, the amount of stack that we were getting through those buildings, there's always going to be a natural convection of air moving through a building. But because we had these holes and these buildings were not tight, there was so much, it was almost impossible for us to control the air going in and out. So forget the temperature, forget humidity, the physical quantity of air that was going into the space, we had no idea. VAV systems made that even harder because now we were speeding fans up, slowing fans down. Energy, now talking about economizer, made it even harder to figure out all of this stuff. So dedicated outdoor air systems supplied you know, directly to the space makes it significantly easier for us to tighten up these buildings and for us to ensure that we're getting the air in and out of them. When you think about like a, a passive house application, which be you know, typically a smaller size unit, Boy, it is, you know, so increasingly, you know, important nowadays. And we've seen um, just in home building alone where we tightened up all these buildings and all of a sudden we had all these humidity concerns and we were having all the mold growing on rafters and stuff like that because we weren't able to ventilate these buildings. Now we've got this great system of, well, yeah, we want to keep these buildings tight because we don't want infiltration because that's a cost to energy. But what we do want to do is we need, and it is imperative for us to properly ventilate these spaces. So, you know, what we're looking at is in a lot of times as we talk about these terminal systems, you know, whether it be a fan coil system, a water source heat pump building, which is a very popular system in New York. It's a, a DX system that uh, typically are, you know, you're putting one of these in a room by room type of basis. Um, we, it's kind of the same logic as almost a larger package rooftop unit in terms of the humidity issues. Um, but I definitely would say, you know, those types of systems and the challenges that we have there is that they are not good at taking care of outside air. What's great about these DOAS systems are now, like in the case of, um, I think a great use case is we talk about multifamily residential, which is a very big thing here in New York and, and actually across the entire United States now, right? what we're able to do is provide the ventilation into the spaces and directly from a centralized location. And that ensures that those people are getting the ventilation that they need, as well as that, again, it is at, is as a precise humidity and temperature as possible. And there's just so much benefit there.